Hey, I'm DJ Sixmith. You're watching The Sit Down. Hermione Corfield here with us. We hunt together, coming to Showtime this weekend. Hermione, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. So this show looks pretty trippy. It's uh, certainly going to be an exciting one for people. What was it like <laughs> diving into it, and what was the biggest appeal? Um, I think the biggest appeal was uh, the dynamics between the different characters. Um, I think Freddy and Barbara's in particular, for me, obviously, because I was playing Freddy, um, this power struggle between the two of them um, and Freddie's multifaceted uh, personality and the way that she can walk into any situation and be a chameleon and shapeshift into a, whatever she wants to be, which will serve the greatest purpose for herself. I also like this idea that you're going to explore the darkness of who Freddie is, because especially with women mm -hmm. on TV, we've only seen a particular type of woman. What was it like to yeah. unpack the layers of Freddie overall? I mean, it was really, it was, it was really interesting because ultimately she's a hustler, you know, she goes about life getting what she wants. Um, and her actions are obviously not always admirable or right. Um, but I think she's got such a strong sense of self and understanding of what she thinks to be right. Um, that nothing's going to sway her from that, you know, morality or, or anything along the, or the law, you know, she's going to go about going her life, doing her life as she wants. Um, and that was really fascinating and, and really interesting to explore. And also, you know, intertwined with sociopathic tendencies. So mm -hmm. you have this incredibly complex personality, um, but also someone that can be funny and independent and is ultimately completely unafraid. There is certainly a lot to chew on with this show. You just said a couple of different things. I think it comes out at a really interesting time. We're all looking for new <laughs> shows to watch. People are fascinated with true crime and the psychology of things. Why do you think yeah. this will resonate with people in a deeper way? Um, I think because it explores, you know, it's, it's multi-led. So you've got four characters um, that really have their own individual struggles going on. You know, you've got the thrill of, of, of the murder and you've got the thrill of this cat and mouse chase. But there's also such a human story underpinning the whole thing. And each individual character is going through their own journey and, and discovering things about themselves and, um, and ultimately landing themselves in, you know, not everyone lands in the best place possible, but it's a good exploration of, of character and resilience and internal struggle. Speaking of journeys, why don't we talk about your journey as an actor? You're obviously just mm. getting going with all this. What has it been like so far and what has surprised you the most about the journey? I think it's always surprising because you never know what you're doing next, which I love. You never know what script you're going to read. You never know um, what content's going to, you know, start to be made and what's going to come into fashion production wise. And I think, um, as a result, every single part I've played has been, has been a challenge and has been a challenge for the right reasons because it's something I haven't done before. I tried to try to do things that I haven't done before and, and try to play characters that I have to really dig deep to understand um, and get my head around. So I think that's been the most exciting and fulfilling part of the journey. Who are some people you've learned the most from along the way, whether it's people you've worked with or even just people you've watched over the years? I mean, Watching wise, it's always, you know, Meryl Streep has always been, a, I know she's the sort of queen and everyone looks to her, but she, but she really, really was someone that I watched growing up and always thought was amazing. I think Amy Adams is brilliant. Um, and then in terms of on jobs, I mean, I've worked with some brilliant female directors and I think that's been a huge inspiration for me. Um, Nyasa uh, on Sea Fever and, and Jen on Russ Creek and both of them, uh, are such a force we reckoned with and and yeah so gave me books afterwards you know on editing and 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 directing just because we had we had these great conversations and i showed an interest in it and um yeah so from them i've learned a lot about how how to how to run a film set and what the important elements are and how to make everyone feel comfortable and allow everyone to do their best best work that's awesome what was the biggest lesson you learned from this project oh that's a good question um Biggest lesson I learned, uh, I guess to, to trust your choices because, you know, you make, you do all this research, you do all this work um, on these characters and then you show up on set and you, and you explore and obviously uh, John and Carl were there to, to steer and give fantastic notes and uh, get deeper into the character, but to also trust that you've got it, you know, because I think because Freddie was so complex, I kind of, I always wanted to do more and I always wanted another take because I always wanted to try something else out. And obviously John and Carl know when we've got it. Um, so I think, yeah, trusting, trusting when, trusting your instincts and trusting when, when you've got it. 
How excited are you to be on Showtime starting up this weekend? Oh, I'm so thrilled. I love Showtime. I'm such a huge fan. Um, they showed Russ Creek last year, so mm -hmm. I, I owe them a lot. They've been very supportive and I think they're a fantastic, fantastic channel. So when people start binging your show throughout the next couple of weeks, months, what are some of the big things you want them to take away when they watch it? Um, I would love people to take away the human story. I'd love, I'd love to know that people are invested in each of the characters um, because they are all so different and there are so many layers to the characters and to the story. Um, so I hope that people, I think it is a binge worthy show. I think it's a show that you can, you know, you, you want to watch all in one go or and you can try and spread it out. But, but I really want people to, to come away. I want people to obviously enjoy it as for what it is as a, a cat and mouse drama, but also I want people to take away the human element and that idea of everyone, you know, nature versus nurture. When we're born, we, we're, we're a culmination of so many different things. And, um, and to, you know, to, to see that, that we're all just trying our best and we're all a kind of, layering of different external and internal factors it's going to be an exciting one to watch for my thanks so much for joining us be well stay safe and we'll talk to you down the road all right great